guess what we're learning about today? The illusion hand. Whoosh, whoosh, illusion. You get me? You feel me? What up, Flow fam? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are learning about the infamous, the infamous illusion hand. This is something that a lot of Lovey Wanders, whether they be beginner or advanced, you know, everybody needs to work on their illusion hand a little bit. The illusion hand is the most important thing to make your Lovey Wanding look magical. And that's like the whole point, right? Lovey Wand, levitating, magic. This prop originates from the dancing cane, which is a magician's trick from like long ass time ago. So today we are going to be bringing some more of that magic into our lives. And it's the one thing that just grinds my gears. Grinds my gears. Like you can do some of the most amazing tricks and nail some like really hard things. But if that illusion hand ain't going and like, you know, making you look very beautiful and angelic and graceful, then all I'm doing is watching tricks. Which, I mean, isn't bad, but you gotta, you gotta feel loose and loose. Loose and loose. So today we're going to learn how to use this hand. <laughs> YouTube also tells me that about 60% of you are not actually subscribed to my channel. Subscribe. And give it a like while you're down there. And don't forget to turn on those notification bells. That way you get notified when I post new content. Uh, new content life. And of course we have the wizards of the channel. And the wizards of the channel are Flow Toys, Astral Hoops, Matrix Fire Safety, Fun in Motion Toys, and The Weaving Witch. Thanks friends. And if you wanna support my channel, you got two different options. You can head on over to my Patreon, where you can be involved in different things with my channel, or you can head on over to my website, fluxluminous.com, where you can find lots of fun flow arts related clothing, and every bit of the money raised goes directly into funding this channel. That way I can keep bringing you content. And I also have a really big announcement. Friends, I am monetized. I am a real YouTuber now. So I just want to take a moment to thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching my silly videos, learning some awesome wand tricks, and continuing to support me through this, this awesome project. It's freaking awesome. You guys are so amazing. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you. I love you. That's for you. All right, friends. So let's jump in to learning about the illusion hand. Illusion hand. So first thing you're gonna need is your love you want. Grab it, do the thing. You wandin'. So a lot of times you see the lovey wanders like doing stuff like this and like, you know, not even really using their hand. Like this is cool and all. Oh, uh, I feel like a lasso. Ooh, like a cowboy. Old Town Road. Just imagine Old Town Road playing. <laughs> so, okay, let's uh, get this dead arm alive. Let's, let's resurrect it. Ah, so what I want you to go ahead and start doing is a straight line right in front of you. So now what you're going to do is take your illusion hand and ba, 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 ba. So as it's going away from you, you like push it away. And as it's coming back, you push it, you pull it. So it's push, pull, push, pull. This hand isn't really doing a whole lot. I mean, though it is the whole thing controlling the wand, but it's not the thing that people are really paying attention to. This is what people are paying attention to. This whole like, finesse. So just get used to pushing and pulling. Kind of think of it as like a ball of energy. You know, if we want to get silly and nerdy here, this is a ball of energy. You're pushing and you're pulling, and you're pushing and you're pulling back and forth. Ooh, ooh, we're already starting to look magical. Which it also makes stalls look really good. So you stall and it accentuates the, the stall point. Because I can just stall, but then I can stall. Like, that's way cooler, right? So next, what we're going to do is we're going to be stirring the pot. You know, regular old love you all move. We're just stirring it and going around in circles. So now what you're going to do is get the other hand. And as it's as the love you want is going away from you, you kind of push, 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 push. So you're kind of like pushing it away. So almost as if you're like 
this hand is helping stir the pot. Cool. Kind of think of it like Mickey from Fantasia. You know how he's like magically stirring and doing all the things with the, the broomsticks. Think of that. But it's your illusion. And it's to the side, it's not above it. It's it's usually always to the side when you're doing this. You know, whether it's back and forth or you're going in circles. I rarely do any illusion hands above. Like, I know some people will do one of these. Eh, this doesn't look nearly as good as doing it to the side. So now we're gonna get trickier. So now we're gonna go around our head. So when I go around my head, I assist in the pushing with my illusion hand. So it's going around, push. So as I go around my head, I get my hand over here on this side. So it's kind of like a crisscross, crisscross arms kind of situation. So we're gonna go ahead and show you again. So crisscross around. And my hand goes all the way to my back. So again, so it goes around, goes to my back, comes back. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that from behind as well. So I'm going back and forth around my head. Bam. Looks way better than just doing this. Whoosh. So those are kind of like the basic, you know, bread and butter kind of movements with your illusion hand. You just kind of push it back and pulling, and you can get very graceful with the hand as well. So, you know, definitely practice like being wiggly with it. You don't have to be so stiff with it. So definitely think of your whole hand as almost like a ribbon. So now you're probably asking, Lux, when you're doing contact moves, you can't really trace and move around with the wand. What do we do? We work on our free hand. What a free hand is, is actually a baton twirling thing. It is where when you're doing contact moves, your hand is out, your hand is open. You can keep your thumb closed if you want. I like to keep it out because it kind of looks nicer. So as you're doing things like fishtails, we have our hand open and it looks nice. We don't have chicken arm going or like doing some weird stuff, but you can also do illusion hand instead of free hand with fishtails. You can be like very open armed. So again, even when I'm doing tosses, free hand out. Illusion hand back, free hand out. <laughs> Always think about what this hand is doing because you don't want it to just be a dead, dead arm lopping behind you. You don't want that. You want to try to be as graceful and movementful as possible. Because remember, this prop is a dance prop. If you need some practice, you know, definitely wiggle those arms back and forth. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Very wiggly the arm. So having good illusion hand and good free hand is gonna take your lovey wanny way up. It's gonna look way nicer and people are going to think, oh my gosh, so magical. Wow, how do they do it? Is it one hand or two hands? I get that all the time. People think that there's actually two strings that I'm actually using, which you know that's not the case. It's one string. <laughs> So I want you to go out there, use your illusion hand, use your free hand, get it going, practice it, make it stronger and better and more magical. Well, friends, if you are new or lurking, welcome to the wand life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, always leave me a comment down below and I will help you out. Every time you don't use your illusion hand, a little part of my soul dies. So use your illusion hand. See you all on the wand side.